December 12th, 2012. What the heek is up with heek 293? Heek is actually human embryotic tissue through kidney cells. It stands for human embryotic kidney 293 cells. Now there's a couple synonyms for it also. And actually, you can buy it off the internet. Originally, it was generated in 1973. It's cultured. Uh, it's a culture of normal human embryotic kidney tissues. Originally in a laboratory from the Netherlands. The human embryonic kidney cells were obtained from a single apparently healthy fetus legally aborted under Dutch law. The identity of the mother and reason for the abortion are no longer known. But the point is they took these cells, these original kidney cells have been cloned, cloned human DNA, and they use them for many reasons, one including enhancing flavors or creating flavor receptors I believe they're in the natural flavors if you look at the rules for natural flavors it falls under you will not see heck 239 on an ingredient label it's classified under natural ingredient or flavor natural flavors or natural ingredients if you see here the or organism is Homo sapiens human tissue embryotic kidney. If you see here for the organism, it's a Homo sapien human tissue is embryonic kidney. It's frozen. Age is fetus. So right there, it's pretty uh, <laughs> pretty bizarre that uh, these things are being used in. Uh, are making our food clone human DNA over here off this website off a Cenomax website that's the company that PepsiCo went in conjunction with on August 17th 2010 it states that on their media page they announced that Cenomex and PepsiCo, the world's second largest food and beverage business, entered into a four-year collaborative agreement related to Cenomex's sweet taste technology. The collaboration will focus on the discovery, development, and commercialization of sweet enhancers and natural high-potency sweeteners. So they're definitely, that is of 2010, and that was a four-year deal, did it say? Yep, so that would be coming up on uh, 2014. All right, on this website, it's called Acro Biosystems. They state here that the source is a recombinant humane IL-6 interleukin-6 protein HEC 293 expressed all these numbers was produced in human 239 cells HEC 293 at Acro Biosystems so these guys might, that's the source right there. Also, that's where it says it's some syn other synonyms for it. IL-6, HGF, interleukin-6, BSF-2, HS4F, IF, and B2. These cells have been cloned for decades as they offer a reliable way to produce new proteins using genetic engineering. Cenomex has engineered the cells to function like 
human taste receptor cells, presumably such as those used in Pepsi's taste testing robot. This was done by isolating taste receptors found in certain cells and adding them to the HEK cells. The lack of labeling requirements is particularly troublesome and will probably become an issue in the future. These compounds, whatever they are, are used in such minute quantities they don't have to be listed on the label. They simply fall under the generic category of artificial and or natural flavors. What this means is that the product will appear to be much healthier than it might otherwise be were a flavor enhancer were not used. Natural flavor. The definition of natural flavor from the American Code of Federal Regulation. The term natural flavor or natural flavoring means the essential oil, oleoresin, essence, or extra extractive protein, hydrolysate, distillate, or any product of roasting, heating, or enzymolysis which contains the flavoring constituents derived from a spice, fruit or fruit juice, vegetable or vegetable juice, edible yeast, herb, bark, bud, root, leaf, or similar plant material, meat, poultry, seafood, eggs, dairy products, or fermentation products thereof, whose significant function in food is flavoring rather than nutritional. So what it really means is natural flavor could still mean anything as long as they're using it as a flavoring then a nutritional element that's what the definition of natural flavor means Senomex is an American biotechnology company working towards developing additives to amplify certain flavors and smells and foods it's according to Wikipedia my conclusion on this quest for the intensity of flavors in our food is I don't think it should be at the cost of becoming cannibals. The products work by amplifying the intensity of flavors, but because small amounts of the additive are used, reportedly less than one part per million, the chemical compounds will not appear on labels, but fall under the category of artificial flavors. For that same reason, the company's chemicals have not undergone the FDA's usual safety approval process for food additives. In other words, we are eating cloned humans, and we have no clue we are turning ourselves into cannibals. And this is probably why we are getting the human form of mad cow disease, and that's probably contributing to Alzheimer's turning our brains into Swiss cheese and turning us into zombies. According to the Seminex's website, it received a positive review by the Joint FAO-WHO Expert Committee on Food Additives, which determined that there were, there were no safety concerns with the use of the company's savory flavor ingredients and in foods. The positive assessment by JECFA is expected to expedite regulatory approvals in a number of countries, particularly those that do not have an independent regulatory approval system. It hasn't even been tested, and yet they say it's safe. In an interesting twist, the uh, in 2011, the Pepsi shareholders filed a resolution petitioning the company to adopt a policy to recognize human rights and, em and employ ethical standards which do not involve using the remains of aborted human beings in both private and collaborative research and development agreements. But the Obama administration shut down the 36-page proposal by deciding instead that Pepsi's use of aborted babies to flavor uh, beverage products is just business as usual and it was not a significant concern. So, the actually, the government did not believe that it was exploiting the remains of aborted children for profit. 
Now, we don't know what these are actually being used. I guess in the worst case scenario that they actually, if it's not actually in the products themselves, that they created a biochemical machine created out of human kidney cells from a baby. That's very bizarre. It's a, a taste testing machine created out of human DNA. But I actually probably would, wouldn't would be surprised if it's actually be, being put into the products themselves. Seminex is using drug discovery techniques to engineer a new generation of taste enhancers that could fool our taste buds. You will eat the flesh of your sons, and you will eat the flesh of your daughters. Leviticus 26, 29. If you are eating human embryonic cells, you are eating human DNA. You cannot eat your own species DNA because it leads to Kreutzfeld Jacobs disease, aka mad cow disease in bovine species. It creates prions in the host when you are a cannibal. Prions are fractured DNA daggers that rupture cells that result in the Swiss cheese brains you find in mad cow victims. Cells have DNA. Clone cells have DNA. Animal cell DNA is species specific. Some species are closer matched and some are further matched, but human is a direct match to humans. The fact is you are eating human cloned organ cells.